Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, this is Donnie coming at you with another System D video. And in this one, I'd like to make a minor correction to something I said in a previous video. In a previous video, I said that you cannot stop or restart the Audit D service on a System D system. And here, if you do this, the system CTL restart audit D command, you can see there it fails. Okay, and the same thing would happen if I were to try to stop it. Again, it fails. So you cannot use the system CTL restart or stop command for the audit D daemon, but this is only on a red hat type system, in this case. Cento S. And another viewer on that video actually pointed this out to me, and I'd already found out by that time that he was correct and that I was in error in saying that you cannot stop or restart the Audit D daemon. But honestly, until he pointed that out in a comment, well, I'd completely forgotten that I put that in the video. So I just want to come back now and correct that. Okay, so to begin with, I'm not going to pull up another virtual machine to show you, but I will tell you that the system CTL restart and system CTL stop command work fine for the Audit D service on Ubuntu or OpenSUSE. For some reason, they will not work on a Red Hat type system. I have no idea why, that's just the way it is. However, if you do like this, use the old-fashioned service command on a Red Hat type system. That works just fine. And the same thing for the stop. And of course, I can go ahead and, and start it back again. So I have no idea why that is. All I know is that if you are on a Red Hat type system, CentOS, Oracle Linux, Scientific Linux, anything that's based on Red Hat, you have to use the old fashioned service command that you used in the pre system D days in order to stop or restart your Audit D service. I have no clue as to why they're doing that. But that's just the way it is. But on Ubuntu or OpenSUSE, as I say, you can use the regular system D command, the regular system CTL command, and it'll work just fine. Now, why is this important? Well, it's because if you create new rules for Audit D, you have to reload them by restarting the Audit D service. Also, if you install SE Troubleshoot in order to make your SE Linux troubleshooting easier, you have to restart the Audit D service in order to activate SE Troubleshoot. And before, I was telling people just reboot the machine. Well, that's not always a good solution. So anyway, now we know, okay? On Red Hat system, use the old fashioned service command and you'll be fine. And that's all I got. Very short video, very short and sweet this time. So if you like the videos, be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.